Tornado Alley is the nickname of an area in the Central Plains that consistently gets hit by tornadoes, including parts of states like Kansas, Oklahoma, and Texas. But in recent years, Tornado Alley appears to be shifting eastward. News Nation meteorologist Alyssa Rafa reports on what's driving this shift. I'm a giant weather geek, right? I love weather. I, I love telling people about weather, communicating weather information. Dr. Victor Gensini is a meteorology expert, and he's top in the country when it comes to figuring out how climate change impacts tornadoes. There's so much we don't know. And so as a researcher, it's it's really fascinating and, and really fun. Holy cow, there it is right there! That's a tornado! The Great Plains of Texas, Oklahoma, and Kansas have been traditionally known as Tornado Alley. This is where we often get the clashes of warm, moist air and cool, dry air to spawn tornadoes, especially in the spring. And what we've actually seen over the last 40 years is the number of tornadoes happening there every year is actually going down. This is the change Dr. Gensini observed. It shows a decrease here in the brown of tornadoes in that more classic plain state, and then an increase in tornadoes in that blue with that core of Tornado Alley moving east to the mid-south and even into the southeast, including the Carolinas. But why? We're not 100% sure of what's causing it at the moment. What we do know, climate change is making droughts in the southwest worse, expanding the dry air and expanding the deserts to the east. As the traditional tornado alley loses moisture, that key ingredient for tornadoes, areas to the east are seeing a muggy surge. We have all this dry air, the movement expansion of that air, but we also have a more favorable air mass, especially early on in the year. So think March, think April, right? Getting basically spring kind of coming a little bit sooner. Our severe weather season then also starts a little bit earlier. And in the fall, warm Gulf waters help boost the muggies too. The warmer that water is, generally speaking, um, there's a pretty good signal that when you have warmer water like that, you'll have above average uh, tornado seasons, especially during the during the cool season. An extra month of the severe weather season could put a dent in your pocket. We start to see regional responses in things like insurance policy premiums, right, and the, the need for disaster mitigation from FEMA. But what is most concerning, these changes are happening fast over our lifespans, not thousands of years.